Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Royce Chamberlain. I am a videographer based out in Tampa, Florida. And this past week, the wildest thing happened. If you don't know, me and my brother Avery work for a guy named Benny Johnson. He does a lot of really cool political content. But this past week, we were in South Carolina for the primaries. And we made a video where we went to Nikki Haley's hometown and we talked to the, the people there and asked what they thought of her. What we didn't know was gonna happen was that Donald Trump would share that video. Now, that is a huge honor, right? He shared it on his True Social, he shared it, he shared it on his Facebook. So that's like the coolest thing, thing in the world because when we sit back and look at it, it's just, you know, me and my younger brother made this video. We filmed it, we edited it, and Donald Trump shared it, but not only did we film and edit this video, but we did it in under 12 hours. And to add to that, I was in South Carolina and my brother was all the way in Ocala, Florida. So that made it even more difficult. And I'm gonna briefly tell you guys how we did it and then we'll go through the video and kind of break it down and watch it together. When we went out and filmed this, uh, I did film it in 4K and I filmed it at 60 frames per second because b-roll should always be in 60 and we don't have a lot of time for me to be fiddling around with settings so i filmed the whole thing at 4k 60. you know that that takes up a lot of space takes up a lot of storage and since my brother the editor is all the way in florida that means i then have to send this footage rapidly as fast as i can to him so he can start in this edit and have as much time as possible because we knew from the start this video we wanted up the next day which already made it very, very difficult. After we filmed it, we had an hour car ride back to our hotel. We're at our hotel, we only had like 50 megabyte upload, which is okay. But what I ended up doing is on that hour car ride home, I ran the footage through Handbrake. Now I did a whole, I just did a whole video, you can click right there to watch it. I just did a whole video on 4K versus 1080, and you always wanna film in 4K. But in this scenario, the gist of that video is always film in 4K. In this scenario, this very specific scenario, I did, I took the 4K footage and I compressed it down to 1080. And not only did I compress it to 1080, but I lost a lot of information, a lot of color information. What once was 10-bit footage, which means there's a lot more details and the colors to work with, was now 8-bit. So just overall much worse footage, and I, I noticed. But it had to be done for the sake of getting the footage to Avery. So I got back to the hotel, took another 30 minutes to finish processing all of those clips. It was hours worth of footage, right? As soon as I got it finished processing, I'm crossing my fingers and I'm going to upload into our Dropbox and I'm thinking in my head it could take an hour. Because realistically, if it was the full raw 4K footage, it would have taken like eight hours to upload or more. What I didn't realize is Handbrake took what was a like four gigabyte clip and made that like 72 megabytes. So I. I lost a lot of information in these clips. They're definitely not 4K super high res clips. I don't know how, it, cause it still looks decent. I don't know how it took it from four gigabytes to 72 megabytes, but all of those clips that were gigabytes per clip or whatever uploaded, and I kid you not, five minutes. So that saved our butts, definitely did in this scenario. So yeah, that, that was kind of how we got the footage to them. And then over the course of, uh, a few hours, very impressively, Avery got us our first draft edit, and I couldn't believe it. I was sitting there with Benny, and I saw the ding, the notification come through, and it was from Avery, and it was a link, and I literally stood up out of my chair, and I said, Benny, Avery sent the link. He's like, no way. So we watched it, we left our notes, got it done that evening, and the next morning, we posted that sucker, and Donald Trump shared it. So let's watch the video. I'll go through with you what it was like filming this, and then I'll give my reaction to the whole thing afterwards, but let's watch. Nikki Haley's never come back to help you? No! Welcome to Bamberg, South Carolina, Nikki Haley's hometown. Nikki Haley talks a lot about Bamberg, typically not good things. She says this place is a horrible racist place where she was treated racistly her entire upbringing. We were the only Indian family in our small Southern town. I was teased every day for being brown on how hard it was to grow up in the deep south as a brown girl. You sure about that? We're here to find out if the people of Bamberg are racists and if they support Donald Trump or Nikki Haley's globalist policies that really steal and destroy from a place like this. Little, small American towns are the heartbeat of this nation. We're gonna find out today. Let's go. So 
So right off the bat, there's the intro. We're 45 seconds in. That's pretty good when it comes to time on a video like this. Um, you notice we started off with a cold open of that guy saying, no, no. And that was hilarious. That was, we all laughed super hard at him saying that. So we made that the cold open in the front piece. Um, and the intro was filmed very basically sign Benny back to the sign. Right. But what I really love is with the, the fact that this is like in, in the editing bracket, this is like a, a eight hour turnaround. Uh, we still had the time somehow to add stupid memes in like that. Like the guy going like this and the. Are you sure about that? Like that stuff, it just makes, it takes the video from a six to a 10 and it makes it so much more entertaining and it makes people want to keep watching. So I'm really happy that we had the time to add all that fun stuff. That's it. <laughs> Nikki Haley often says that sh this is a place where she was treated very racistly, that people were very mean to her and she's the victim. Have you seen anything like that? Are you, are you a racist? No, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Nikki Haley go flip flop. One minute is this, one minute is that. We already know what the sister race is in this city right here. It's pretty decent. The folks that I know are pretty decent. People have been really nice to us. Everybody that runs in so far is really nice. Nikki Haley on the campaign, she regularly talks about how growing up here she was treated so racistly and people were so mean to her because of her race here. Have you experienced any of that in Bamberg? I haven't. I haven't. People seem really nice here, actually. Yeah. 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 So you'll, you'll <laughs> notice really quick, I'll pause here. You'll notice, like here, let me jump a few frames back. You'll notice how far away Benny's holding the mic. And I, I asked him about this afterwards because I don't do what he does. I'm not going to these people and talking to them and trying to get uh, a comfortable answer out of them. Um, and I asked him, I said, Benny, I was like, you know, for the mic purposes, it'd be really nice if you could get it a little bit closer to them. Like, you know, don't be scared. And he's like, scared. He's like, no, I'm doing that on purpose. He's like, because people get really nervous around microphones. He's like, so I try to keep a distance that made it a little bit difficult in the edit. I know Avery, cause you had to bump up that volume. I, I know, I know what that's like. And it's not very fun having to flip flop back and forth to make sure a limiter doesn't always do it. A compressor doesn't always do it. I mean, he's like feet, he's like back here to, to the guy. And, uh, that's the simple reason, just to keep, let them be a little bit more comfortable and not have a mic right up in their face like this. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes that. People seem really nice here, actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nikki Haley has been out on the trail, on the campaign trail, saying that she was, when she was raised here, she was treated all racistly and everyone was so mean and to she her. Was treated racially. She was treated us racially. No Nikki Haley. If you're wondering about how we filmed this, there's not much I can say. I'm filming the person. Uh, I am trying to make sure that I'm like next to Benny and filming them, not both of them, because we want to get their reactions. That's the most important, not seeing both of them. I try to move um, back and forth where when Benny's talking, I'll move back. And then when they're talking, I'll try to get almost over Benny's shoulder, but not really, but just aiming at them. Get them as close to talking to the audience as they, as we can, because most people won't talk to the camera. They're scared to, but they'll talk to Benny. So we try to get that angle. Um, and this guy was just, he was just enthusiastic. He was just gold for the camera. So we enjoyed talking to him. No Nikki Haley. That's an interesting. Uh, one more thing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. She ain't getting no black people nothing. The man's nothing. Bye. Thank you, sir. Nobody's a racist around here, man. My wife went to high school with her, and I knew her from when she had the store here in Bamberg. So your wife went to high school with her? Yeah. More yeah, edits. Yeah. And so all these stories about I was treated so racistly and everything, like that's your wife. Crap, that's, it's, it's based on feeling sorry, but I don't feel sorry if nobody gets your out and go to work. Nikki Haley, when she's out on the campaign shot, I will, okay, I know this is overexposed. I know that it is, but you'll know why in a second. When we turn and we're filming this guy, he's backlit, so I had to turn it up a little bit so we could see him. And that's the case for anybody when they're backlit, when the sun or the lights are behind them. In order to see them, the background will be blown out. Unfortunately, that's just the way that it is in these scenarios. She talks a lot about racism and her racist hometown and how people were so mean to her. I, I don't think anything. You haven't experienced anything like that? No. no. Have you experienced that in your growing up? No, no. I, I think the racism thing is far overplayed. What do you think? Donald Trump, Nikki Haley? Donald Trump. Yeah. Donald Trump, 100%, buddy. Yes, sir. Trump. Trump. President Trump. 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 Yes. All the way. Let's go, Brandon. No. <laughs> Donald Trump. Yes, sir. America first. Yes, sir. Yes. I think that voting for Haley is a wasted vote. 
I think Trump's going to be the nominee, and so it's probably who to go for. Rolling with Trump. Rolling with Trump. Rolling with Trump. All right, my man, America first. That's right. Donald Trump or Nikki Haley? Donald Trump. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. He's a businessman. Yes, sir. And he don't take no shit. <laughs> no, cut that out if you like. <laughs> so we have a bleep button. We have a bleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but anyway. What a lot of bullshit. I think bowl of full of shit, to be honest with you. <laughs>I'll take a pause here because you'll see we're not talking to people anymore. We broke this up. We literally broke this video and I, I we, we broke it into sections. We wrote it out into blocks. Okay. We had like the intro and then we had the uh, Nikki Haley question. Then we had the Trump versus Nikki, you know, stuff like that. We broke it out. And originally there's three questions that were asked of Benny to each person. Originally, we had it, intro, question, 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 and then what you're about to see, which is we walk through the main street of this town that's in shambles, completely falling apart. Nikki Haley is not there. Not to get political, but Nikki Haley has abandoned it, and it's falling apart. And so the last question is about foreign aid, and Nikki Haley is all for sending money over to foreign countries, and so that's the question there because her hometown is struggling. Her hometown is broke, and she wants to send money. And so why we moved this section in front of that question is to really help visualize, and this is Benny's idea, to help give people a proper idea of why we're asking this question rather than asking the question and then showing the results of, you know, that question. So we're showing what's happening first and then we're asking people for their opinion. And that kind of helps the audience, I think, understand why these people are responding the way that they're responding. So where we go in Bamberg, people tell us, man, you got to go check out what's happening downtown. Not in a good way, in a bad way. Here you can see, you know, I kind of feel like Benny holding my microphone like this. Benny Johnson. Just a complete dilapidation of the city. Now, to be fair, there was some really heavy winds and a very strong storm that blew through and caused some damage. But what you can see here is a hometown that has obviously been forgotten about and utterly neglected, destroyed and ignored by the leaders and the people here in this place. People like Nikki Haley, who's from here, who's governor of this state, there haven't been businesses in these buildings for decades. And this is historic downtown Bamberg, and what you're really seeing is a ghost town. And while there might've been some damage done by a storm, the true damage was done by the politicians who neglected this place, forgot about this place, and who sold all these jobs to communist China. And the person who was responsible is the hometown hero here, Nikki Haley. What do you- You see, okay, ad, are you serious? One sec, let me skip. Okay, you see, you see, now you have a full understanding of what is really going on in this city. I'm not gonna get political. This is about filmmaking. Anyways, that is, you, you see, you see, you see, all right. What do you think about Nikki Haley wanting to give hundreds of billions of dollars to foreign nations? It seems like Bamberg could use some help. Yeah, exactly. Bamberg and the United States. America first, right? Yeah, I don't see why we sending all this money to other people. That yeah. make good sense. Yes, that's right. We need it just as bad as they do. Why you got to go over there another cut the fuck? Yeah. Are you spending over here in America? Yeah, I was looking around. Look ar- how everybody, look how we living. America first, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, you know, Nikki Haley, you go spend a billion dollars in another country. Nikki Haley's never come back to help you? No. I do construction work. I'm the owner of Green, I'm Green Masonry. And I, we did some repairs on Main Street already. And for that street to be closed for this long period of time, I mean, something should have been done. Really, we are, we are in the middle of everything. And you have construction workers all around here. We could have been to come in, get that thing to be rolling, and open Bamberg back up. Let Bamberg be Bamberg again. We don't need to be sending money elsewhere. It needs to stay here. Yes. We need to find a cure for cancer. Money needs to go towards that. Yes, that's exactly right. Yep. What's your message, Nikki Haley? Final, final message, Nikki Give Haley. up. <laughs> Tax dollars definitely need to go towards American infrastructure. Um, there's definitely there's definitely a call for that to happen. America comes first, but we can still help people. We're a huge country. We got a lot going for us, but we can't let all of our resources go to everybody else. We can't. We're leaving ourselves wide open. T family 
restaurant that's been here for 70 years. We were, it was like in the middle of a ghost town. This is the only place that is still open. My name is Benny. What was your name? My name is James. James. And you are the owner of this owner of proprietary of this fine establishment. Uh, yes, sir. Well, yes, sir. Me and my wife. Things aren't doing as well as we like for them to be doing, but we're hanging in there with it, you know what I mean? Downtown here has gotten a little rougher. A whole lot rougher. Right, right, right. Well, politicians are supposed to be responsible for taking care of their communities That's and right. making sure that buildings don't collapse and don't fall in. Somebody who's from here and talks about Bamberg a lot is Nikki Haley. Yeah, yeah. Has she helped out politics aside? Has she helped out Bamberg? She's a pretty powerful I, person. I, I, I know of. If she has, I hadn't seen it with Captain. Thank you, sir. Appreciate yes. Y'all stop by. Yes. So we were just in the final okay, store. Really quick, video is ending. Before I show you the outro, you must know. And I already know we should have done this on the actual main road where it was a little bit smoother. Uh, instead, we did it on this really messed up jacket. I and mean, you saw those wires everywhere. This sidewalk. My camera is, I'm handheld. I'm moving quite a bit and I'm not very happy with it. So give it, cut me some slack, okay? Really bad sidewalk. But just be warned. In Main Street, the people of Bamberg obviously mm. deserve better than what their politicians have delivered to them. And it's amazing how Republican or Democrat, whatever, they mm. all said the same thing. America first. Donald Trump, Joe Biden, doesn't matter. America first. That's what these people want. So yeah, no matter where you are in this nation, no matter where mm -hmm. you come from, America first. That's the winning message. It's your boy Benny from Bamberg, South Carolina. See ya. So, uh, yeah, I hate that last, the, the outro. I should have asked to do it again. It's my fault. I actually feel awful about it. Nobody ever complained. Benny never complained, but... Internally, I'm like, yeah, that sucks. Should have been smoother. I'm like moving to the side. It was at the end of a very long day of filming, so my arms were already kind of tired, but that's no excuse. I hate that last shot. But to kind of summarize it in itself, I think it's an incredible feat that we accomplished being able to turn this video around that I think was done very well. Um, I'm very happy with it. But for it to be done and complete and edited and uploaded and published, and sh very shortly after, I'm talking like within 30 minutes, shared by the former president of the United States, I think it's a great accomplishment. I think to do all of that in 12 hours and have it done and complete and approved and amazing and everybody loves it. The video on YouTube right now is at 436,000 views. Um, on X, it's got a lot more and on other social medias, Facebook, it collectively gets a lot of views. This video altogether has millions and millions of views. And again, something that's never happened to us, it's been shared by the president. So very exciting for us, very proud of this product. Uh, no, it was not in 4K, um, but I, I'm still baffled that we even got that footage to Avery in time. So hope you guys learned something. Now you know how to deal with footage in a pinch. Use Handbrake, not a sponsor, would be nice. But if you guys do want to use any of the equipment that I use, Links are all in the description for you guys. They're all for you straight to Amazon. Check those out. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.